Hello everybody and welcome. I am the Beta Plan and this is Dungeon Top Spell Sword Cards. I realized in the last episode I totally forgot an important thing. Hey, it's an alpha, so you can buy it, right? Yeah. So what do other people think? Well, currently the reviews are very positive. Oh, okay, and how expensive is it? Eh, not too much, it's just a little bit below 15 bucks. It's it's quite quite doable. And uh would you recommend it? Yeah. I made a video of 15 minutes already. I'm enjoying it massively. Of course I'm recommending it. So, yeah. But let me continue on. Let's continue further into this deck. Now this... I've always lost um, pretty darn quickly on this thing. Oh, I do like Invoke. We'll remove that. Because I don't have enough minions. Uh, most of these creatures here that I've seen are kind of focused on one enemy and my warrior did very bad against that. Gain one block each time this unit takes damage. Okay, haste dash last word curse adjacent unit with mark for death. Which means you take double damage. So let's do this. Let's do that. I'm not gonna do that, but I am going to do this. Now I wonder how this goes. Yeah. Oh he gains free block then. But block is, I believe, removed at the end of the turn, isn't it? Haste, marked for death. Haste. Didn't do much. Huh, now did it. Draw the next three spells that cost mana. I'm first going to play this. We'll consume the trinket card and we'll gain two random treasures. I assume we'll stay until play. Spell, treasure, sacrifice a minion, destroy a minion as specified. Don't see the point on that. Not right now, at least. Uh, what we're gonna do is kill you. Now we're marked for death, so we take double damage. Which isn't that good. I could have played, actually, this treasure. Which is kind of nice, because it blocks enemy movement. We'll place you over there. You might die instantly. Do this. And we'll have one man on the board while this is active. Alright, throw away the cards. Move him. He does a ranged attack. He's gonna mark for death anyone that's close. I'm already marked for death anyways, that doesn't matter. But for my hero, I am not too keen on it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do this. Kill him. Get myself marked for death. Get the archer in there, not marked for death. Get... The Hound forward and then move the gun. Uh, aye, aye. When played chain, apply to burn to an adjacent enemy unit. Nah, that's not good. You took some damage. I could have buffed up more units. But this is good enough for me. Alright, well, let's see. Kills that one, that's fine. Applies burn. He applies burn to his own guy as well, that's nice. Doesn't matter because he is... <laughs> Here, he is lead dead. Just for the hell of it, we're gonna... Murderize him as much as we can. Now you thought, oh no, the strong units! But no, I still have this two unit left. Oh, I had a Phantasm to put there to switch myself a bit. There was a lot of way. Actually, switch was next turn. Uh, minion. Ooh, the Catapult. It's kind of nice. It does splash. It has a lot of range. The f problem is it doesn't move. And can really block up where everything is located at. Uh, we already have one of those. I'm just going to take the minion and be done with it, I think. Because the splash damage might be nice. Ooh, I never saw it in this way before. Uh, that there was this many access to things. That's a level 5. These are level 4s. I can upgrade something, but what do I want to upgrade? I wonder what the arcane lock looks uh, as upgraded. The end of the two of the two cards you retain in your hand. Yeah, 
that is better, I think. Sure, we'll upgrade this one. Why am I being so quick on the upgrades? Uh, this level has killed me so many times. Ooh! Upgrade my weapon or upgrade my deck? Well, I... Uh, the gray of the dwarf flickers into view. It does not look aggressive. It merely points at your hand. I'm going to hand over my deck. And he upgrades two cards. And I took two damage, unfortunately, for it. But now we have at least some, some improved minions. We actually now have a free guy here. That's kind of cool. And he has Leap. I always forget that on this this, this guy. Um, There we go. Took a, took a little bit of damage, but... I think it is worth it. Let's get him going. Oh, he summons a copy of himself? We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna blind things and we're not gonna damage things immediately that way. Investment, have at least five free star cards on your deck in nice. As Ash Legion Reaver. If this unit's health is reduced to zero while the other reaver is still on play. Instead, set his health to 1 and give it plus 5 power and multi-strike 1. That's really a deal 1 damage to all adjacent enemies and apply bleed. Uh, and this guy is really annoying. Ash Legion Bowman. When enemy minion is destroyed, add 1 charge of soul arrows and, and immediately damages your hero. Just... It is just nasty. I know I could do it done with the Phantasm, but I want the Phantasm to stay alive a little longer. So I'm placing it over there. Because now Claws doesn't do anything, and they needed to move. Um, too bad. I definitely am going to do that. Um... The problem is also these ass legion guys are just so tanky. Plays over there, plays over there. We don't need to transpose. That's damage to that. That's that. Yeah, you you need to die. I know your tricks. I'm not okay with them. You're out. The problem is I'm doing so much damage to this guy that I might kill him and he gains plus 5 power. That's just no... Not good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to root... Huh? This is rooting, right, isn't it? Apply a root from all units in a line starting from with an adjacent unit. Oh. That doesn't exactly do what I thought it did. I could nearly kill this thing. Actually, I could kill it a lot with this fireball. I could instantly kill it, but then he gets multi-strike. It does mean that he would kill... This is just one damage and bleed. I don't want to put too many units around him, but I'm, I'm thinking I'm killing this guy. He gets 5 power, so he just kills everything instantly, and multi-strike one, so he can... Uh, unit can perform additional actions each turn, including attacks you have, and then he kills actually two. Mm. I say we're gonna place... You here, and we are going to place... So you're stuck. Uh, you will kill him anyway, so that doesn't matter. Get the archer in play. Get you in play. Hmm. 
X is the amount of mana you spend on the spell. I could instantly kill him, but... He is... I don't think that's the wise move right now. So he does bleed. Fine. And he kills him. And he kills him. I think it was actually this was the wiser plan. Teleport could do uh, some serious damage. But actually, if I kill him, him, the fight is over. So why am I worried about him? I just realized. Right? Right? No, he gains 8 multi attack. He is... Okay, that does not work the way I thought it would work. I'll admit that. Oh, oops. I made an illegal move now. He would instantly kill the golem. Which is a bad idea. I can't save the archer anymore. That's done. Because I misunderstood how it worked. So he kills that one, logically. And... Oh my god! Of course, he could multi-strike, hit, multi -st Oh my, I just... I just died! Achievement 1, defeat the boss of the first floor with a Helm Mage. Ah, that's... Well, I just got owned. Didn't die. I just got totally owned. Um. Well, my mistake. Didn't think that one through. Let's go with the hand of Karim. Uh, you like it when things are sacrificed. Yeah. You get a meek servitor. Last word. Put in haste. I don't like. That one's not too too keen. Potasa was kind of funny. This is block. This is transference. Do one damage to a unit. Copies. Predator dash. I don't know if that also counts for having dogs on the field. So you'll do 10 minutes to a unit. Yeah, Soul conversion. Do one damage to a unit. If it destroys you, gain one mana and draw a card. Oh, well, that might be fun. When this minion is absorbed, deal two damage to adjacent units. Haunted Keramite. I say we're gonna play with these cards. Create the hero. Mourn a Necromancer. Sure. Let's go. Hope you are going to enjoy a, a little bit more of this, because, well, I just lost it in the first 12 minutes, so. <laughs> Whoops. You like it when things are sacrificed. Sacrifice me. Does anyone still know that one line of what was it? Starcraft? Yeah, Starcraft, I think. Raid drill. Goblin Scout. When this unit dies, knock back two on adjacent units, not large heroes. When summoned sacrifice a random unit Jason to summon a meek servitor. I did not read that correctly. When s I thought he liked it when things get sacrificed, but that's the other unit probably. Meek servitor. Um yeah. If it destroys it, gain a boon. I think we should do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Uh, last word about this effect in hey, place with. So that's the meek servitor.
This is gonna be a weird one. There, there, get a meek servitor by sacrificing that. Place this unit. Yeah, but I got you back. And when he dies, he gets haste, this guy. So then it's also a way to sacrifice him and gain bonuses from that. Um, do this. Kill him. Make servitors go to work. You already did your attack, so we're gonna move in there. Did not kill him, but we are um, quickly on the way. There we go. Goblin Scout defeated. Not a very clean kill, but uh, hey, it works. Um, you found loot. A spell. Enchanted unit of guardian. The first time an enemy moves or an enemy is... Yeah, that's attack. Minion? Uh, that's not the minion I was looking for. I guess I'm gonna take the spell and leave the minion will be for the moment. Plate. I knew there was an upgrade of cards, but there's not a card right now that I think like, yeah, I wanna upgrade that one right now. Uh, you need to sacrifice something else. We don't have something to sacrifice yet, so... Redraw the entire hand, please. I will give you Guardian. And we want free cards, so let's not... Big Angry Goblin. Multi-Strike 2. Ouch. Really? Multi-strike, yeah, but everybody was pushed. Things worked out in the end. I did not entirely do this correctly, I realize. Hmm. I will move you out of here. I know that I'm sacrificing this unit, but I'm just gonna have to work with it. Not way to do one damage. Actually, give this guy guardian. And turn. Well done. I didn't fall for my guardian trap. Um. Unfortunately, we didn't have anything yet on the board that likes to be sacrificed, so to speak. You should sacrifice him, because you can't sacrifice the hero, getting a meek servitor. Um, and then you should sacrifice him, getting a meek servitor. And then we'll guardian him. That should be enough. Yeah, but this now is... Now you're getting uh, into trouble, buddy. Because if I do this right, you might just be dead. Because this is free. No, I don't... I think I'm... I'm one damage off. No, I'm not. This is like the weakest kill. Ma man, I'm not... This uh, this deck isn't going that great. <laughs> I haven't found yet on the, uh, the way it works. <sighs> Fine, we'll take this. Uh, I have the feeling soft block was really nice as a way to go forward. Uh, can you spare a powerful card? I need to escape. I'll trade you this healing potion. Absolutely not. Intimidate. Do we have a... Creature with the power of four? No, I don't. Then I'd have to leave. 
unfortunately, fight the Goblin Shaman. Draw. Oh, you immediately want to sac me to sacrifice something. Great, lovely. You got haste. There you go. Enjoy. This is not annoying. Give your minions plus one plus one at the end of your turn. No, we do not enjoy that. This is bad, and I can't really kill him that well. The only way to kill one is to do this, do this, and then that. I don't really need to move my hero. Uh, set plus one plus one. Um, but what I can do is do this. Sacrifice him to get a meek servitor. Put you in a way so that you won't kill me. Ta-da! And the knockback actually aided me! Do this. Do that. Doesn't really matter in which order we do this. She got totally trapped. Wait a second. You do to all adjacent units, right? Come on. To adjacent units. Yeah. So just step up to the plate. Do this and be done. Yeah, she can't place anything because I trapped her. Mm, nice. Uh... Yeah, just do this, you know, it doesn't matter. She was on the Meek Servitor. Very much agreed, and this is over. Because this is just a silly fight. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, come on, give me something good. I probably will take that one. To get a little bit more area of effect damage. Point. Ingenuity on black powder. Make for a dangerous mix. Goblin bomber. Better. What he gains. That are a lot of minions. Uh, he just insta-wiped one of my guys. To adjacent units. So two damage to a unit and one damage to this... Mm, need to figure this out. How to make this work properly. If I do one damage to him, then deal two damage to a unit. Then he's gonna do one damage to him and to him as well. Hold on. One damage there. Move. Hit it. Two damage. One damage. He will explode. He will explode. Is I okay to... I think it will work out. And I think this guy will die. But I can't really prevent that. I thought he would die as well. That's one of my soft block gone, but that's okay. I 
I don't know what the card was that he played. Play. Trigger your minion's last word effect. Uh, was apparently that minion. We're fine with that because we have soft block. Soft block is so nice. Like, seriously. We just need to be able to do a little bit more damage. A bit more damage, please. Uh, that's done. I could work out, I think. Give the Meek Servitor Guardian. So as soon as he moves here, he blows him up and he kills him. I'm not going to play him because he's going to kill her and then she's going to do adjacent damage. He kills himself. <laughs> there was no way he could do it. <laughs> so he kills himself. No. Uh, spell or minion? Uh, we'll take both of them. Because the one is control an enemy minion. Do we want to remove a card? <sighs> actually, I'm actually going to remove you because if I find yours. You're not... How shall I put it? It feels like it doesn't work with this deck. I'm not saying the card is completely wrong, but it's just not working with this deck. Oh wow, that's a lot of health. Which one will enjoy... Come on. When someone sacrifices a random adjacent friendly minions and someone... There is one that gains more power as you sacrifice, which is why this faceless initiate is then good, but... I guess that is not in this deck. Summon a copy. I gain four block, but it costs two mana. How about this card? Remains one mana. I'll upgrade that. Alright. Get into the portal. Quickly, quickly. Take the dark path this time. Go, 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 go. Oh, that's, that's the door sealed. I need to go to the lower door. Alright, fight! Uh... Brother. Yeah, you get hounds. I... I have the feeling I'm not so good with a Kara Mage as I was with the Helm Mage, but... Just do this because... We're not sacrificing anything of work. Oh, you just... Oh, wow. Okay, then. Why did that do six damage? An additional two damage for each adjacent unit. I oh, I thought it did damage two adjacent units. I'm a moron. That doesn't really help if you misread the things. He's got dash. What I'm saying is that we're gonna sacrifice you, get a haste, get a meek servitor. Unfortunately, it did not pop there, but somewhere else. This guy just has a lot of power. Yep. And dashes away. That guy is also speedy. This is not a good, good, good thing. I'll take control of you, thank you. Could have used that actually, uh... We'll transpose in a moment. And he moves, he plays his hound. I am really weak.
That is nice. Steel mind, I like it. Why? Wait, if you're wondering why does he do free damage? Because he knocks back him into another creature, and that does an additional damage if that happens. So that is just a special rule regarding that type of uh, interaction. See, two, one pushed into him, that's why he dies. Now, in this case, I'm not sure if he gets a Deus free or... Yeah, he does, because he pushes him into the wall. Which means our mage gets the kill. That's kind of interesting. We'll take the treasure, that's for sure. Do we get a nice weapon? Range 2, power 2. How about a minion? Uh, we'll take this. Fight! Another free attacker. Yoza. Yeah, this works. Oh, a little bit less. A little bit less. I won't lie. Uh, you do the adjacent damage thing, right? Yeah. This is going to be a bit of a weird combo. Whoop. That worked. That I shouldn't probably have done. Uh, we get mind control back. Ah, because I killed the mind control creature then, probably. I'm just gonna put you here as a blocker of movement. Just like he uh, did that over there. Alright, we'll consume this trinket and get two random treasures. It's a weapon. Okay. Good that I didn't choose a weapon before. Um. Give your minions plus one plus one, right? Doesn't really matter because we have enough soft block. So I don't feel like this is needed. Funny enough, he is pushing away. And now we need to kill these guys. This will work very well. Boom. And then his last word mm, ticked off. And uh, we'll move the Vatasm. Yeah, get our hound killed, unfortunately, but this works. I am going to kill you, because you're not very useful to me right now. <laughs> Neither are you. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Thank you. You just killed yourself. Move away and hit. There we go. No. I'm going to burn a stone. Let's just try the spell. I have no idea what it does. Because I don't know what enchanted it does. We'll have to see. And yes, of course, this is going to be a longer video. Because, well, I died and, well, if I make it that short of a video, it's not fun. Let's just see here. We'll keep that. We'll keep... We'll throw this away. Oh, you guys. I don't like you. Uh, he got knocked back, which is why he took some damage. 
There we go. The nice thing is also he has Predator. Attacks twice if the defender has less power than you. Well, that can happen quite often in this case. So, what we will do is we'll kill you that way. Gain a hasted creature. Put another one on the board. He's gonna kill him though, I just realized. Without having to move, which is kinda bad. I also should realize that she is ranged nowadays. He can heal. That's his thing. Um... Luckily, we can mind control you. Time to do the damage to the big guy. There we go. Now we're starting to cook with fire. We need to put one over I should have put this one one over here because this one was going to heal him. So I all of a sudden got like, I need to do this. Then I realized, whoa, that's not very smart. He hits the 1-1, one, one, that's nice. And thereby he gets a spot, so he is out of the problems. Right. Smart boy. Um... Yeah. No, we don't need to worry. If you bite him, he is stuck. So this is pretty okay for us. But we do need to put something over here because otherwise... One of those is gonna form over there. So, Alright, got it. Now he's gonna put some warriors over there. Sir, sure, but he is dead now anyway, so it doesn't matter. Goodbye. I wonder also if this counts as a dog. It's really a run I should go for, for just the achievement of getting all the dogs. What does this do? Banish a minion from the board for one turn. If the minion is standing in a banished minion square, when it returns, destroy both minions. If, the he if a hero is standing in the banished minion square, do five damage to the hero. We can definitely do that. I like that as a spell. I still don't think that's, that's a good idea. We'll take the vials. Apply haste and consume it. Um, I think that's gonna thin out my deck actually a little too much. Fight! Let's go! Yeah, these episodes are just a little bit longer. Then again, I'm. they may be a little bit longer right now, but don't misconstrue that for this game being a game that's gonna be long or what have you not. Because... The fact of the matter is that you can actually just do a little bit of a fight and just go anytime you wish. Nearly any time. Uh, so as far as I have to... Oh god, they killed my out instantly. That was a bad idea. At the end of the turn, his minions get plus one plus one. Which is far from ideal. He just increases his... I'm just gonna have to say, do it like this. No! I want to save, actually, the Servitor. That plus one plus one is killing me right now, literally. Thank you. 
what does this this red thing do? Double time. Until the end of your turn, your minion gains dash. That's not a problem so much for us. Just do it. I have no idea what it means. Spell cast on these units are treated as if they had enchant word keyword and are exhausted. What does enchant do? Doesn't really help me to explain the difference. Oh, I'm gonna oh take something over. Big time. Thank you. That plays. That one plays. Uh, let me just undo this. 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 Pull back one and place you just as a defender. Dash, you say? Huh, but you can't move anywhere. Well, I think you're dead. There we go. Um, boom and boom. Nice. Uh, minion? What the heck is this for a minion? Can be summoned on any empty square, cannot move or act. It's a good defensive thing. Minion. When power, when sacrifice gains a power. There we have it. Uh, yes, we'll definitely take the mana. And now we're gonna fight an elite, which could be really the end for me here, because elites are pretty potent. Um... Look, he's got range 4 and it does 4 bloody damage. Am I doing this right? He has range 2, sorry, and 4 bloody damage. He is, he, that, that is just... That's nuts, man. Now he gained free block. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna place one over here. We're going to sacrifice a unit. So now we gain a Servitor plus a Haste for you. Uh, what the heck is this? Deal one damage to all the adjacent units. Sure. Your knockback won't work, so I'm gonna put you over here and unit with Anchor. Yeah, Transformers doesn't really help me. I'm gonna stay put. Just get a Illusionary wo I fought all adjacent units, you said. To all, no, to all enemy units. I apologize, I didn't read correctly. Um, you away, forward, forward. Uh, so the f one that sacrifices is gone. I'm gonna put an illusionary wall over here so you can't move back. Um, I can't take control of anything, so that doesn't work. Um, I'm gonna block you to save you a little bit he gains block again and kills one of my guys logically uh, what's this this is being stunned I believe right yeah stunned that is a block gone a block gone a block gun. Oh, I should have done that with this guy. Sorry. I missed out on one damage. Could be significant. Don't get me wrong. Um, uh, I wonder if I not be able to work this out right now that that gun's going to work in my favor. Put on a dog. Sacrifice you. Gain a servitor. Put you on the board just to have you on the board. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Hold on, he was gonna do that. Um, so it would have helped. He, he did push and then move. Um, let's not do that right now. Just do this. Banish you. Hopefully he's going to be just dumb and move back there and then take them five damage. Um, uh, 
block. He does not attack him and move, so unfortunately he does not gain that. But oh, nice! I didn't realize that does a resummon of it. That's actually a nice thing. Advantage is he's stuck, but we are now in his line of sight, I just realized. And turn. There's one damage to all. Yeah, that is a damage because my soft block wasn't strong enough. He does die though this turn, but that is unfortunate. I was too eager to get rid of the block. Ooh, we'll always take the treasures. Draw a card. Last word. Creepy doll. Minion? No. Take a spell? No. Take a potion? No. Fine, we'll confirm only the treasures. Ooh, way to heal. Nice. Take a quick sip for four hit points at once. We'll see what's in the magic chest. Open the chest. We will take this. Yeah, because this one does free damage to all, all minions put on the board by the enemy. And let's go for the big boss fight. Huh? Another 50 minute episode. It's fine. Uh, blood, blood for goods? Yes. Ooh. Get a new upgraded weapon, upgrade a card, get Vampire Vang, uh, leave. Vampire Vang is good for, uh, a warrior, I believe. Because it, it, whatever you kill, you gain blood from that a little bit. Ooh, yes, please. We'll definitely put you on the board. Delusionary Wall. I don't want to sacrifice anything just yet. Any any square, but it's not going to be as good. This is such a boon. This thing, when an enemy minion is summoned, shock the enemy hero for free damage. Cannot move or act. You summon eggs a lot. Why don't you get some pain for that particular reason? Dang, dude. Boom, boom. Damage! Damage! Damage, damage, damage! All the way! There you go! Um... Can't really do without anything just yet. You have leap, so I'm gonna place you back there. Whoop! See daisy there we go. End turn. And damage the enemy hero. This could be fun. He is killing himself with his own eggs. Thanks to this particular creature. Um, the fact that this becomes an alpha is just no good. Uh, really it isn't. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Ready to push back on that big guy. Uh, you're ready to take a blow for me. Yeah, but Block is gonna save his ass, so... I'll just kill one of you. Oh, the Alpha, we can take it over. I just realized. Uh. But he's about to kill himself with all the units he's spawning. Bye! Well, that was a way to kill a boss. <laughs> I see. I thank you for watching, and remember... This game can be kind of fun because it has a lot of different strategies you can use. <laughs> Until the next time, and do let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this game because I'm more than willing to show more of it. Until next time.